Hi guys! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Dustin from Laptop Factory. So guys, maraming maraming salamat dahil 45,000 subscribers na tayo. 5,000 subscribers na lang at magbibigay kami ng laptop. So yung mga mananalo ng laptop is the 27% na nakasubscribe sa amin. So there is still 73% na hindi nakasubscribe. So guys, bukod kasi sa laptop, nagbibigay din kami ng mga giveaways, katulad ng mga t-shirt, yung mga loot bags, and speaking of t-shirt, after this video, magbibigay tayo ng Oros t-shirt and tatlo ang mananalo. Please stay tune until the end para malaman nyo kung sino yung panalo ng giveaway na to. Congratulations nga pala sa mga nanalo ng HP backpack na sina Marie, May, Cheese Joseph, Christian, at Jeneline. So please message us on Viber para ma-receive nyo yung inyong giveaway. Then again guys, wala kayong babayaran na shipping fee or whatsoever. We just need your delivery details. If you guys ay hindi pa nakasubscribe, so please like and subscribe to our page and baka may chance na manalo ka ng mga giveaways na binibigay namin. Uulitin ko lahat ng kinikita namin dito, ibinibigay din namin sa customers namin because this video is only for awareness kung ano yung laptop na bibilhin ninyo. And speaking of laptop, we're gonna continue unboxing. And for today's unboxing, it would be Gigabyte A5X1. Ang bigat ng box niya. So, tingnan na natin ang laman nito and let's unbox this baby. Okay. Dalawang box to. Isang outer box. Pati ito yung box. So, Gigabyte and there's the logo of an A5 gaming laptop. I'll tell you later kung bakit ito yung i-unbox natin, okay? So, this laptop comes with a manual. And, katulad ng mga previous Gigabyte, meron din silang mga kasamang ganito. Yung cooling gel para sa SSD. Some screws. And then, we got the charger. This is 19.5 volts. That's 11.8 amperes, 230 watts. By the way, guys, ito pa yung bag niya. Actually, um, ang astig ng bag niya. Ang ganda. So, there is this black with an orange accent. Okay. So, guys, this is the Gigabyte. A5. So, first impression, it's color black and it's bulky. There's no other accent na hindi mo man notice na this is like a gaming laptop or whatsoever. It looks like a workstation. Kasi may mga workstation na ganito lang eh. Parang black na black na bulky. Hindi ka talaga mga predator na makikita mo talaga. It's a gaming laptop or yung mga Nitro nila, ganyan. Yung mga Lenovo. The Legion. Yung keyboard niya is may mga white sa mga gilid ng keys. So, I'm pretty sure that this is a backlit keyboard. We'll check that later. You'll notice that there's a sticker here of a GeForce RTX and an AMD Ryzen 9. Hindi pa kami nakakapag-vlog ng R9. Ang nava-vlog pa lang namin na highest processor is an i7 and an R7. So, we'll check this in games kung okay yung R9. Now, let's talk about the ports of this unit. On this side, there's a Kingston lock and there's a charging port. And there is two USB 3.2 type A. So, this is a Gen 1 and a Gen 2. On this side, we got here a microphone jack and another audio combo jack. And then we got here a USB 2.0. At the back, we got here a mini display port that is 1.4. And we got an HDMI 2.0 and a DisplayPort 1.4 Type-C. So that's a USB 3.2 Gen 2. So, katulad ng mga ibang gigabyte guys, pwede kayong magkabit ng monitor dito up to 3 monitors. And by the way, it comes with a LAN port. And at the front, we got here the power indicator kung charging or naka-on yung laptop. And yung reading icon, parang sa mga dating CPU, pag nag-read yung CPU, nag-blink siya. So, there are three lights indicator at the front. So, underneath the laptop, ganun din. Just like some gigabyte, detachable yung battery niya. And some sticker of the serial number. Now, let's talk about the dimension of this gigabyte. The width is 14.2 inch. The depth is 10.1 inch. And the height is 1.36 inch. And the weight is 2.1 kilograms. Now, guys, Actually, ang bigat niya. I have a laptop which is an MSI 17 inches na mas magaan pa dito. This is only a 15 inches. So, mamaya, babaklasin natin yung chassis nito. Tingnan natin kung ano yung source ng bigat ng laptop na to. Baka may weight plate to eh, yung ginagamit sa gym. 
So, tingnan na natin mamaya, okay? The viewing angle of this laptop is somewhat of 120 degrees. So, may kita nyo naman sa video ko ni maximum na pwede nyo i-open yung lid ng laptop. I also noticed, guys, that ang lalaki ng mga ventilations nito, yung pag-in and out ng mga fans, tingin ko hindi kayo magkakaroon ng problema about thermal issues kasi ang napansin ko, pag mas makapal ang laptop, mas maganda yung thermal issue niya. Hindi katulad ng pag mas maninipis ang laptop, mas mabilis uminit. However, um, itetest naman natin sa games. Tingin natin kung iinit siya ng todo-todo. Now, let's talk about the specifications of this Gigabyte a5. So the exact model is Gigabyte A5, that's X1. So the processor of this Gigabyte A5 is AMD Ryzen 9, so that's 5900HX. The base boost is 3.3 GHz and the turbo boost is 4.6 GHz. That is an 8 cores and 16 threads. Now we've done some benchmarking to Intel Core i7-11800H. The difference is this AMD Ryzen 9 was released on January 12 this year. However, the Intel Core i7 11th Gen is, was released on March 20th. So of course, we are expecting that the later the release, is, it should be the processor is much higher. Now, I've seen the difference about here. The difference about the i7 of Intel, the base boost is only 2.3 MHz. While here in the AMD Ryzen 9, it is guaranteed that the base boost is 3.3 MHz. So meaning to say, the base boost of this AMD Ryzen 9 is much faster compared to an Intel i7. So this is actually the highest processor that we are blogging right now. Alright, the memory of this unit is 16 gigs, so that's GDDR4. And the megahertz is 3200 megahertz. The storage of this unit is 512 gig SSD. So that is a PCIe and VME. And we'll check later if the storage is upgradable. So this comes with two graphics cards. One is an integrated, which is an AMD Radeon Graphics Vega 7. And the other one is NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070. So that's GDDR6 and 8 gig dedicated. So I can't wait to test this on other games. So the display is 15.6 inch. So that's 1920 by 1080 resolution. That's a full HD. That's an IPS level display. So kahit sa angle mo tingnan, it will provide color accuracy. And it's not so much a bezel. Di katulad ng mga ibang laptop na bezel-less talaga. The screen is matte. It's not gloss. And by the way, guys, this is running at 240Hz refresh rate. So, abrang ideal niya sa mga games and sa mga first-person shooting. Hi, guys. I'm testing the camera of this Gigabyte A5. So, this is the camera quality of this unit, just like other units. 0.9 MP. And what you're hearing right now is the audio quality of this Gigabyte A5. So the keyboard feels, it's fine. Hindi kayo maninibago sa keyboard niya. I was able to score 49 words per minute. Just like me, hindi kayo mahirapan dito. And this is a customized keyboard. We'll talk about the settings of the keyboard later. Tracking pad, okay naman. Katulad ng ibang laptops, may mga button pa yung left click, pati right click. Kasi yung mga ibang laptop, yung tracking pad nila wala ng button. So since this is a 15.6 inch laptop, it's an alphanumeric keyboard. It comes with a numpad. Right now, I'm testing the gaming center here. Just like in other Aorus or other Giga Bytes, meron silang gaming center that you can customize the fan settings, the performance, and if you want this on games, ganun din. Sa flexi keys, there's a settings here in the flexi keys. Pwede kayo mag-set up ng mga hotkeys nyo. Para if you're playing MOBA or an FPS. And then, meron din ditong LED keyboard. Dito kinakustomize yung keyboard. So guys, there you have it. I've already mentioned to you the specifications of this unit. Now then again, this is running an RTX 3070 and that's an 8 gig dedicated with a 240 refresh rate. So we're gonna test this in games and then let's see how it performs. Not to mention this is also an AMD Ryzen 9. I'm gonna make my shots off. 
So there we have it. We were able to test it on games. Now, let's check kung meron pang pwedeng i-upgrade sa laptop na to. Let's call our technician to open the chassis. So thank you sa technician natin na nag-open ng chassis. Guys, sinabi ko kanina ang bulky ng laptop. We don't know why kung bulky. Now, here's the explanation kung bakit ganun na lang siya kakapal. First of all, this laptop is running an AMD Ryzen 9 and an RTX 3070. What should we expect? That is more power. If it is more power, it needs more cooling fan para hindi mag-overheat yung laptop. Dito pa lang nakita ko na gano'ng kakapal yung fans niya. Yung kapal niya is double ng size ng mga thin laptop. Diba may mga i5 na thin na laptop na may mga fans din? Parang dalawang fan ang pinatong nyo dito sa isang to, tapos dito rin. So parang apat na fans. Kaya tignan nyo to oh, kung gano'ng kakapal yung ventilation yung, and yung pag-exhaust dito sa side na to. So dito lumalabas yung hangin. I think the thermal issues will not be a problem on this laptop kahit naka R9 ka na naka RTX 3070. I got here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 heat sink or heat pipes. The processor and the video card is here. So mapapansin nyo hindi magkatabi yung processor and video card kasi pag magkatabi sila talagang ibang klaseng init ang iaano nila. Then the heat pipe here is parang, ayun, parang alam mo tulay eh. Okay, so this laptop is running a 16 gig memory. Meron tong two memory slots, so I'm pretty sure that itong dalawang to is an 8 gig, dalawang 8 gig, and this is the 512 SSD. There's another slot na pwede kayo mag-add ng SSD, and there's also a ready na for HDD slot or a 2.5 SATA. Okay, so we got here yung battery niya for the time and the date, speakers, Wi-Fi card, of course the battery. Katulad ng dating mga Aorus or Gigabyte Detachable. Just to sum it up, ang pwede mong i-upgrade dito yung SSD and yung HDD. Pwede kayong magdagdag ng SSD pati HDD. Now, if you want to go to a 32GB memory, tatanggalin nyo yung dalawang 8, gagawin nyo 16-16. By the way guys, you cannot open this laptop by your own because it will void the warranty, okay? So, if you want to upgrade the memory or the storage of this unit, you need to go to us or you need to go to any Gigabyte Service Center para sila mag-upgrade. And by the way, this laptop comes with a one-week replacement warranty with a two years Gigabyte warranty. So, um, tabi na natin to and then let's talk about the pros and the cons of this unit. Now, let's talk about the pros. Of course, the pros is the processor is AMD Ryzen 9. Of course, it's a Ryzen 9. Ang in-expect natin dito, it is higher than Ryzen 7, which is, it is totoo. Looking on its base boost, that's 3.3 GHz. Yung 3.3 GHz na yung turbo boost na yun ng mga i5 or mga i3. Kanina, kinumpare natin siya sa i7. Ng i7, ang base boost lang is only 2.3, but this one is 3.3. Another pros, of course, aside from the processor, mas mataas yung memory niya, 3,200 MHz. And aside from the memory, is also the video card. The, this video card is running 3070. Mostly yung mga 3070, ginagamit to sa talagang mga intense rendering na application. So specs-wise, it's a pro on this unit. Now, about the cons of this unit, first of all, since napaka-powerful ng laptop na to, R9 RTX 3070, so expect that it will consume more power. And then, considering that I think there's a problem about duration on the battery life of a gigabyte, kasi bukod naman dito, talagang there are some customers experience na mabilis mag-drain ang uh, laptop ng gigabyte. Well, Talagang mabilis siya mag-drain kasi mataas ang processor nito eh. Hindi lang to R7, it's not just an i7. This is an R9. So expect that if you're gonna use this, dapat lagi nakakabit to or lagi nakasaksak. Of course, if you play games, hindi ka naman pwede maglaro ng games na hindi nakasaksak to. Ganun din if you're gonna do some Lumion or some 3D rendering on animation, hindi pwedeng hindi nakasaksak to. Dapat nakasaksak kasi once na nakasaksak ang laptop, dun talaga nagbibigay ng mas power yung laptop. Ngayon, pag hindi siya nakasaksak, talaga mag-drain yung laptop niya. That's one of the cons, mabilis mag-drain yung mga ganitong klaseng laptop. So other cons, I'm not sure if this is a con, sobrang bulky niya. Bulky na, mabigat pa. What's the purpose kung bakit ito bulky? Kasi ang lalaki ng mga fans nito eh. And what if kung manindipis ang mga fan nito? You might encounter thermal issues. Possible other cons then is the storage is only 512 SSD. Of course, you're buying a future-proof laptop. Ngayon, pag future-proof, 
Katulad this one, this is a future proof laptop. It's mataas ang processor. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-upgrade. However, yung storage niya, maliit. 512. So probably in the future, mag-upgrade ka talaga, mag-add ka talaga ng HDD dito or another SSD. Pero, katulad ng pag-unbox natin ito, nakita nyo naman, there are some screws, there are some cooling gel na talagang aware si Orus na mag-upgrade talaga kayo ng laptop na to. Ngayon, 5.12 is actually is enough for possible for 2 to 3 months, ganun. But I suggest, pag napuno yung storage nyo, kailangan nyo talaga mag-add ng SSD or an HDD dito sa laptop na ito. So guys, yun yung mga unang na-notice ko dito about the pros and the cons of this laptop. Now, if some of you already availed this unit, please comment down below because your feedback is highly appreciated and mababasa yan ng mga ibang bibili nito. Kasi to be honest ako, gustong gusto ko tong laptop na to because it's mataas na processor, mataas pa video card. Like me, I'm a FPS gamer, mataas din yung refresh rate niya, 240Hz. So sino ba ang target market nitong unit na to? Of course, this is actually ideal sa mga engineering, ideal sa mga 3D animations, mga Lumion, ano pa ba? Lahat na lang na intense application, name it, kaya nito. Kung wala ka naman pakialam sa budget, actually hindi naman din gano ka sobrang mahal to. And then you're looking for like super lakas na laptop, I think ito yung bagay na bagay sa inyo. Now, of course, kung ito ay mataas ang processor, expect na mas mahal to. So it's not really ideal for dun sa mga budget type na yun, mga students na naghahanap ng laptop. Okay? But if you're in the professional side na talagang kailangan mo ng mga for 3D rendering, yung mga intense na 3D rendering like animation, kahit di lang mga ganun, kahit yung mga games, bagay na bagay sa ito. About the price, kung sa iba nyo to bibilin, this is roughly around 110,000 to 120,000 pesos. But here in Laptop Factory, we'll be selling this 100,000 pesos. Ngayon, that 100K na yun, is it worth it on this unit? R9 na naka-RTX 3070? Kayo din ang magsasabi. Kasi yung 100,000 na yun, para sa mga professionals, yun na yung puhunan nila eh. Kasi, siyempre, yung mga kikitain naman nila, pwede mag-return of investment din naman yung works nila dito sa laptop na ito. Kaya nga sinabi ko kay Nina, it's not really ideal for sa mga budget type students. This is really ideal dun sa mga talagang yung may mga profession talaga about architecture or 3D rendering. And of course, damay na rin natin yung mga photo editors pati video editors na talagang super high na 4K graphics ang ginagawa nila. If you, in case that you want to avail this unit, actually, onti lang namin yung stocks namin ng ganito. But we'd also do pre-orders to Gigabyte. Now, if you want to avail this, we will just gonna list the branches at the end of this screen kung saan nyo pwedeng bilhin tong unit na to. Or you can message us on Facebook. Our Facebook is Laptop Factory with half a million likes. So, sana ganun na rin yung likes namin or yung subscribers namin sa YouTube. Now, in case na ako arin, nakapag-decide na kayo bumili, nahihirapan kayo pumunta sa store namin, don't worry. Kasi, nagpapakash yung delivery naman kami. Pwedeng kami na lang ang pupunta sa inyo. If you're within Metro Manila, it will be a rider. Pero if, like, malalayo na talaga, like Visayas and Mindanao, it would be LBC. But don't worry, we still honor a cash on delivery on this one. In case that you want to inquire for installment, we do have installment like home credit, pero it's only valid if you will go to our store. We also have this other installment which you don't need or you're not required to go to our store, which is our bill ease. So we're just gonna send the link kung gusto nyo mag-apply tungkol sa mga ganon. So we're already in 45,000 subscribers, so 5,000 na lang. At magbibigay kami ng laptop. So we're not sure kung anong klaseng laptop ang ibibigay namin. Baka ito ang laptop ang bibigay namin, di ba? Sulit na sulit yung pag-subscribe mo. And speaking of subscribe, 27% pa lang ang nakasubscribe sa amin. So kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe, please like and subscribe to our page and hit that notification bell para in case na may mga bagong uploads kami, you will be notified. Malay nyo, pagdating namin sa 50,000 subscribers, baka kayo ang manalo ng laptop. At hindi lang yon, pagdating din sa 100,000 subscribers natin, magbibigay ulit kami ng laptop. At hindi lang yon, between the 50,000 and 100,000, every video, nagbibigay kami ng giveaways. So sayang din, di ba? Inuulit namin lahat ng kinikita namin, ibinabalik din namin sa customers namin because this video is only for awareness para alam nyo yung bibilihin nyo bago kayo pumunta sa amin. Okay, so I think I said everything about this unit. Then again, if you do have feedback, feel free to comment down below. Now, this is Dustin from Laptop Factory. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bigat!
Ayun. 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 Ayun.